Hi guys, it's Michelle and I'm back. I'm going to be finishing up my guest bathroom today and I'm going to show you what I did. So let's go ahead and jump right on in. So the first thing that I'm showing you here is a, this is actually a vegetable basket that I got from Walmart and I'm going to be using this on top of the toilet to store my extra toilet paper that way when I have guests over if they need extra toilet paper they won't have to ask me because it'll be right here on top of the toilet now I might end up spray painting that silver but for right now I'm okay with it um, so I absolutely love the basket because I like the shape and I like how the handles are gold now I have two shelves here this is the first shelf and I DIY these shelves I made them myself um, I just went and got the wood from Home Depot and made them um, so first thing I'm going in with is some folded washcloths that I put a ribbon around and I just have four of them here just to get the height that I want for the, the level in between these two shelves. It's a pretty small shelf and I wanted it to be small because the area is pretty small in my in, in this bathroom so it's only a six inch shelf. And I'm going to take two hand towels and I'm going to fold those over and put it on the opposite side of the shelf. And they're about the same height so that's kind of what I was going for and then I'm going in with this beautiful candle holder that I got from Burlington and I think this was only like $5.99 or $7.99 or something like that I have everything listed in the description box where I got everything from then I'm going to use this mirror which I think would come in really handy for, for most people um, so it's just a basic mirror that I'm going to put right next to that and I don't want to overcrowd these shelves because like I said this is for guests and I want them to easily find, find things. And I'm going in with this uh, room spray in Bergabont that I actually got from Marshalls. And this smells really good. It kind of smells like a man's cologne a little bit. But I do like that a lot. So that is all that I'm going to put on this particular shelf. Um, and now I'm going to go up to the top shelf. Now I have this... Um, I printed off this sign from Google, Be Our Guest, um, and I put it in this mirrored frame that I got from Ross a long time ago, because I thought that would look really nice, and it would make my guests feel kind of welcomed. It would make my guests feel really welcomed to see uh, that sign when they went into the restroom. So I put that in the frame, and um, like I said, I just printed on regular printer paper off of Google and I just love that script that's there. Now I'm gonna go in with these two slim candle holders. Um, I got these from Burlington. They were $9.99 each. Um, I wanted to go in with some really slim items, smaller things, because like I said, this is a smaller shelf and I wanted it to be smaller. Now I have this floral arrangement here that um, I have these peonies and the actual uh, vase is from Michaels. So I absolutely love the way this looks is simple it's to the point and it looks really nice because these are some really small shelves and I think I have the right um, quantity of things on the shelf I didn't want to do too much so that is all that I'm going to do above the toilet and I'm going to show you what I did around the shower area now I showed you the other part of the sink area of this bathroom last week so uh, if you didn't see that video, I'll definitely have a link below um, or you can also go back to the playlist on, uh, on my channel to see all the bathroom videos. So I absolutely love the way this looks. It looks so feminine. It looks clean. It looks nice. Um, it's just what I was going for. Okay. So now I'm going to go into the shower tub area. I'm going to be using this tassel, these tassels that I got from Ross. You've seen this in my other bathroom. Um, and I am using two actual curtain curtains as well as a shower curtain. So what you're seeing right now is the actual curtains that I have hung all the way to the ceiling. And I just have a command hook here right on the side of the shower to pull back the curtains using the tassel. Okay. I'm going to show you an overall look of what the whole thing looks like in a minute. But I just want to show you how I'm actually using that tassel to pull back the curtains. Because I don't want these curtains getting in the way if somebody actually has to take a shower. I want it 
out of the way so that they can just get right to the shower curtain move the shower curtain over and get right in so I have that on both sides okay this is the white shower curtain in the center and that's what they would actually be moving in order to get in the drapes the curtains on the sides that um, they're not going to move so you can see the shower curtain in the center there and I have it on the glide hook so they'll be able to move right in and out and yes I do have the curtains all the way to the ceiling so this is just another look at the shelf and the overall look of the entire bathroom and I love the way this came out it feels like springtime to me so I hung them all the way to the ceiling like I was telling you those are actual curtains and I did extend them by because um, my ceilings are really really tall so I need 108 inch curtains so I did extend them by adding some more fabric at the bottom and I just I did not sew I just used um, the I used the uh, fabric tape and over on this side I have these two mirrored frames with these beautiful beach pictures in them I got these from Ross a long time ago um, and I just hung two you know I just hung two white towels right below it and this is just another overall look to the other side which I said like I said earlier um, I have the video from the other side um, that I posted last week so you can definitely go and check that out here's a full-length mirror so my guests can kind of check themselves out when they get dressed and behind the door is where I have um, this hook where they can hang their towels or robes or clothes or whatever when they uh, come in here to take a shower so guys that is all that I have for you today I have some more footage at the end of the video oh let me show you this um, this is I left this on here so I could tell you what it is it, this is mahogany teak wood and that is from Bath and Body Works and it smells amazing I don't know I just love those scents that smell like a man's cologne <laughs> yeah so that's what that smells like some of you guys are probably already familiar with it thanks everybody for watching check out redrams.com it's my new online with women's clothing site the link is down in the description box and I will see you guys in the next one bye bye